guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video my name is Antonio but you can come with Tanya. and today we're back with another video we're back with a sit down and yeah we haven't done a sit down in a very long time so i thought i should come here and just address something but before i get into the video please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment down below please don't forget to press that bell so that you get notified every time i post a video so today i uh I'm kind of doing a mukbang. I'm having Debonair's pizza. It's actually not a mukbang. I'm just eating because I'm hungry. I just came back from work. So let's get into the video. This, this video is not constructive. Like I didn't put, I didn't write things down because I just thought about it now. Actually, I just thought about it after someone DM'd me right now. Okay, reply to my Instagram stories. Like, actually, you are shocking me that you're still with the same person. Ugh, whatever. So uh, yeah. So guys, um, by the title of the video, I'm going to address something. I'm going to talk about something actually. It's not me addressing, it's me talking about it. <laughs> I got myself pizza. I'm not a pizza fan. I'm, not, I'm a pizza fan, but I'm not a Debonais pizza fan. I don't like it. Uh, let me, I'm also having a glass of wine, so. Let me just grab a slice before I say anything. This is supposed to play out as a mukbang. But yeah. And that's bad. I'm going to turn sick. That's what I'm going to do. I'll tell you about it. We are going to be able to hit you. Kaya. That's what I'm going to do. So. This is out of the ordinary. This is not my grandmother's teaching, and she will be very pissed if she, if she was still here and she would see this. Mm. And guys, no bad. Taste the caramel because I'm not I am manager. Okay. Okay. So, um, by the title of the video, y'all know what I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> and this is the most asked question by people on my on my Instagram, by by my friends, by my family. Yes, my family, sisters and my brothers, my siblings, basically, because my family, it's my siblings. So people always ask me this, between my last. So, so break it down, my last. I hope and I wish that I'm going to be able to, sp to speak English throughout this whole video. But to be honest with y'all, and I don't understand why I we should get in this pressure go Google YouTube and none was no articulation like this articulation. And was no pronounce my camera means so yay, pressure money, pressure, pressure, pressure. I know I feel like my accent is okay when it comes to this long, but the pronunciation is the problem for me pronunciation at the problem for me because i have a short time and they're decade and that's the caesar all of those things so it's very difficult for me to say some words so i got the hyped up to store the rain and have type in the man visa the village you know what's in bella get a good teacher and then it's looms ballet get out of the window but i know some of my followers are not just closer speaking people excuse me and i saw on my and it and 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 less analytic and analytic see See what I'm talking about? See, it's not me. It's not. I'm not the problem. English is the problem. So I saw it that it's not only people from South Africa that actually watch my channel, and not people, not only people from South Africa that are subscribed to my channel. I have USA people subscribed to my channel. I have Namibians subscribed to my channel. I have Zimbabweans subscribed to my channel. So it's unfair for me to speak my home language when people are interested in things that I talk about or and my vlog it's quite unfair so i'm gonna try my best to speak english so okulasa basically it's me not uh, lasting long in a relationship and this has been awesome since last year because i've been doing this 
relationship hopping hopping right it is hopping hopping normally we use the word hopping when we we're out there clubbing so it's like we club hopping that's the only time i've I, i've heard people to saying the term or using the term when you're club hopping i think time go i'm drinking red wine by the way i think the groove is because that's the only time i hear people talking about hopping so people they've been curious about me relationship hopping yeah well people are, are curious about my love life and i understand why i put my love life out there guys i don't even want to lie that's all i I'm in a relationship, the whole Instagram, the whole Facebook, the whole WhatsApp, the whole TikTok will know that this girl is dating, this girl is within them journal, you know? So it, 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 I feel like it's okay for people to be curious and ask me questions. Why the fuck are you relationship hopping? I basically started relationship hopping last year when I moved to Johannesburg. Remember, I'm still married. And at that time, I was still married, like really married. That right now, I'm just legally married, not really married. I'm legally married. I'm legally married. So at that time, it was still fresh, and the whole divorce situation was still fresh. Excuse me, me trying to find myself outside of that relationship. Me trying to find my groove, trying to bring my groove back. Me trying to be me because. I believe in Omujolo more than I believe in myself. I believe in Omujolo more than I believe in my own sanity. Like, it's fucked up. It gives me a loss as a person, you know? So, I have always jolling, jolling. I've never, I've never, I've said this so many times this channel. I've never been single in my life. I do not know what single is and I don't think I will ever, ever be single. I'm sorry. I am not that girl. So, one of many reasons why I am re um, I'm, I'm relationship hopping or why, actually I am not relationship, relationship hopping anymore, I was. So, reason, one of the main reasons why I was doing that was because I was, I, 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 I stepped in the room, I stepped in the know your worth room, you know. As South African, we have terms for everything, so there is a... A know your worth room where when you are tired when you are done and when you feel like you've been fucked over by so many people and you're tired and you're done and you feel like you've been played enough you go to that room and you go to search and find you that's where you get your self-love that's where you start your self-love journey self-appreciation all those love language that you believe in and that you've been giving people now you take them and you give them to yourself, like you give time for yourself, you, you spoil yourself, you love yourself, you take yourself out. You do all of those cute things that you used to do for other people, for yourself. Of which I feel like it was it was the cutest thing that we've ever came up with. Know your worth room. So, I, 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 I hoped or oh, I went into that room, I unlocked that door for myself where I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck everybody else. Now, it's about time that I appreciate me. I do me. I do what I want and I do what makes me happy. So, as I've said that I've never been single. I don't know how to be single and I don't even want to, I don't ever want to be single. So, when I get into a relationship, I have that door open, the know your worth door open. So, the minutes that I feel like I'm uncomfortable in this relationship, the minute that I feel like this person is not what I want, the minutes that I feel like you're not giving me what I want to be given, I, I, I no longer compromise. I don't have time to compromise. Previously, I was the girl that compromised, compromised, even compromised my own sanity, even compromised my own money, my own finances, so that you can be happy, so that I can be with you and be happy with you. And I wasn't happy at all. I was never happy. I was unhappy, but I was pushing away the unhappiness because you were happy so you being happy was like okay it's okay my person is happy so when i unlocked, i unlocked that room i was like you know what fuck that fuck everything i'm gonna get into a relationship when i see that i'm not giving him that i want to be given when the relationship is not giving what i want i'm gonna move i am gonna literally move i'm not gonna look back i i, I don't have time the second that. reason at because <laughs> i was i was i was i was physically abused and I was emotionally abused and I'd like to believe that I did the same thing to my ex-partner so 
when I got into those relationships last year and the beginning of this year and I see signs of those things, I was like, you know what? I would be like, you know what? That this is something I don't want to ever experience in my life. When you start raising your voice to me, I'm like, mmm. Raise voice. From raising voice, it's going to go to the hand. Actually, it's going to go to pointing. And from pointing, it's going to go to a slap. So, nah fam. That's not, what I That's not where I want to be again. And when you're going to put your needs um, in front of mine, even if I communicate that this, 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 this is not going to work like this. This is how I would like it to be done. And when uh, you push your own needs to go um, in front, you push your, your own agendas while, as I imagine, there's a bit of pushback. I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 no. No, this is a financial abuse because I was financially abused. This is a financial abuse and I'm not going to stand for it. So sorry, I am, I'm not standing for that shit again. So you know what? I'll fuck off. You, you constantly want things from me and I'm out here, like I'm in Joburg, I'm trying to find myself, I'm trying to build my finances again, my finances were falling apart, I don't have a bed, I don't have dishes, I don't have clothes, you know, I'm trying to find me, I'm trying to build me again and you come to my life and you demand things, like no, I've, I've done this before, I have done this before, I am not gonna fall in this trap again, no, hell no, I am moving away from this. And if I see that every time I try to express myself, you make me feel small or you make me feel like my own feelings towards things or my own feelings, it doesn't matter. I, I'm like, yep, I've been there. I'm not doing it again. Bye, Felicia. And the third reason, why am I not breathing? And why, not, why am I not eating? The third reason was basically me trying to live my best life. And if I'm gonna, and if I, I'm gonna get to a certain person's life and that person is saying, for instance, alcohol, I'm an alcoholic and it's okay. I love being an alcoholic. I'm a smoker and it's okay. I love being a smoker. And um, I'm a groovist. I'm friends with a lot of women. Um, I'm friends with a lot of with, with, with lots of guys. And when you come to my life and you tell me that you don't like the fact that I'm drinking, you don't like it. Fine, fine. We're not even we're not even gonna negotiate. I'm not even gonna say no, son. I'm gonna turn it down. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I told myself that you know what? We're not gonna we're not gonna negotiate my drinking. You don't have to say I smoke. We are not going to negotiate it. Fine, go find yourself someone that, is, that doesn't smoke. It's not going to be this goal. Not that I, 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 I don't want to compromise for people. But it's not going to be a thing that I push in a relationship where all I do is compromise, compromise. No, honey. Not anymore. So that was, that was my, my, like my third reason. You know what? I want to live my best life. I'm in my late 20s. I don't have time to to not do things that I want to do because I want to impress a certain person or I want to be in a relationship with this person for longer. I, I was in a relationship for six years, plus minus six years, plus minus five. I don't even remember. I don't even count anymore. I, I'm, I'm not going to get into another relationship where I'm going to prioritize year, years. I don't know how to talk in, in these guys. Yo. Well, I'm going to prioritize years and um, not my feelings. You know? When I'm going to prioritize years, want to post in every year, happy 10 year anniversary. No, because I feel like something that I did in my previous relationship was for me to keep posting the same person for me to keep to, for me to be seen with the same person over the years it was great i i, I love that fact but i realized that no man i'm fucking myself over because i i want to be seen with the same person over again like all the time i was like nice um now i'm not gonna do it anymore i am not gonna do it anymore why i've been relationship hopping which which i feel like is the last re re reason uh, because of my 
mental state, my mental health. Um, a lot of people that I broke up with was because they were not good for my sanity. Um, other people didn't understand mental illness. They they took like they took it as a joke. And for me, mental illness is very something that is very close to heart, close to home. It's me who have those things. It's me who suffer from those things. And um, it's not I don't I don't fake it. It, it just comes. It just happens. I I went to a mental institution for it. And all of that so i just couldn't I, I just couldn't be with certain people because they will take it as i'm looking for attention and sometimes someone will 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 not even understand my episode sometimes someone will insult me uh with my mental illness and i was like you know what or other people will take it as um as, as a joke They'll make fun of mental illness. It's like, I, you know what? It's fine. I don't think I am ready or I'm, I want to be with a certain person because obviously if you're not going to understand mental illness, if you're going to make fun of mental illness while your own girlfriend is suffering from mental illness, then what the fuck am I doing with you? And if I'm going to have an episode, Mastaba, and you remind me of that, you tell me that I'm crazy. I, You tell me that I'm moody. I, I'm bipolar for fucking god's sake and you tell me that i i'm moody i change my mood i sometimes i don't talk and you, you're not addressing it you're not you know you're not looking for a solution you're not looking to understand it you're insulting me you're telling me where to get off in that regard i'm like nah fam reasons why i i have been club hopping i have been relationship hopping for the past year until now this is literally my longest relationship in joe break we just hit our six month in this relationship and we already live together we live together in two weeks of being together of which i felt like this one is the one i felt safe around her i felt um well taken care i felt like she understood me i felt like she she knows me like she she knows my soul she, like she's there for me not in a sense you would see she is feeling sorry for me not in a sense you would see she 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 wanna do uh, she wanna heal me not in a sense you would see she wanna fix me she's she's genuinely there for me she's genuinely and she she genuinely understands and she genuinely um want to know better she wants to be educated with 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 everything that i go through as a person so guys and the last because and last i it's a mistake for school 10 it's some is still from as a person so there's no there was no way in hell because i'm going to go from the fridge hi babes and you hold in my fridge it's a mistake for school 10 but not anymore I don't have time to be played and I don't have time to play other people. If I I will I will and those are muruga because in the funa ulasta not anymore, not in this year. Mm -mm, babe. Mm -mm, not in my Joburg life. If it was maybe K Town life, I would still muruga because of Glasta. Not anymore. So the, those these are the reasons why basically i I haven't been lasting in a relationship, but no, I, I I'm lasting. This is my literally six months. My longest relationship. We are oh god. Anyway, I I hope this explanation is well received, <laughs> and I hope now nobody's gonna ask me again who I think I last you anymore because now y'all know who was he, your girl, know her work. <laughs> anyway thank you so much guys for watching me blabbing and watching me telling you guys nonsense which is true and which is what is going on in my life and what has been happening but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you on the next one this song don't need a king i've already got a queen.